If you've watched this channel for a while, you probably know that I'm not the best builder in The Sims. I do actually really enjoy it, but for some reason being on camera just makes me crumble under the pressure. I think my main issue is planning. I kind of just wing it and then it never turns out the way that I want it to and then I give up. But none of that today. I'm forcing myself to just get over it. We're playing with the architectural designer career in The Sims 3, so let's jump into it. So I've made my sim already. This is Debbie Devine who loves design. I couldn't think of anything that rhymed with design, so <laughs> that's her. But look at her. She's already going for it autonomously. Well done, Debs. So what I'm going to do first is obviously get the job. So head to the City Hall and join the architectural designer profession. Attend a charisma class and attend... What is it? A painting class. Those are both things that are meant to help. Want to help your neighbour completely redesign their kitchen? Do you love picking just the right paisley rug to match that old couch? Sims all over town will be begging you to come over and help them with their home remodelling projects. So get out your measuring tape and your sledgehammer and let's paint the town sienna. Is that how you say that? Or have they just got my name wrong? I'm Debbie, thank you. Work starts in a few minutes, so hopefully I get a job straight away. I did. Exterior makeover. So let's go do that. So Constance Shelley says the exterior of this house is starting to to look dated. I want the neighbours to think that I have good taste. Use your good taste to help impress my neighbours. Oh, I'm really sorry. I don't have good taste. What the... See? Why the fuck am I wearing that? Get back. In that fancy outfit I told you to wear. This is the house. I mean, yes, it looks dated, but I already don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Put your fucking phone down, Debbie. We've got stuff to do. Okay, so I've got a budget of 2,000 simoleons, but she wants four new doors and six new windows. Do you not realise how many fucking windows you have? I think she's got this wrong, our Constance. She actually meant, can you redesign this garage? So I'm going to add some windows there. So there's two of the six windows there. Oh, you've got none on the back of your house. No wonder you needed me. Oh, well, let me stick it there. What's in your house? <sighs> cabinets. So there's windows on the garage. It's not what they wanted, but maybe I can replace doors. They did ask for this on the exterior, but let's be frank, they're being ridiculous. So they're not getting it on the exterior. It's going in your house. Oh, good. This does count. Thank God. Otherwise the house is going to have too many entryways. I've still got over a thousand simoleons, so I don't know if I should, I don't know, maybe add something at the back here. I'm assuming this is meant to be a drive though. I'm deleting this tree. Constance, I don't know if you have kids, but if you do, they're about to love this new play area they get. And if you don't, you're about to hate this new play area you're going to get. Oh, how stupid am I? Right. Seesaw's gone. Instead, get a little tree house in there. Just add some dirt around it so it looks more like an actual lived in tree. And I'll throw some plants around your garden too. Just going to drop some pampas grass here because apparently that's a sign that people used to use for swinging. Apparently. <laughs> so now Constance will have no idea while all the husbands in town are knocking on our door trying to come in. I'll move your mailbox outside here too so the postman doesn't have to go into your shitty garden that I've ruined. Can I get anything for 25 simoleons to stick on the outside? Oh, I can have two hanging ferns and I've got seven simoleons left. So you can have in this very dark room, you can have a tiny little plant and another one in the kitchen. You're very welcome. A job well done, if you ask me. And that, I thought I did that and did it wrong. But no, that was already there. So don't blame me for that. But a kid friendly garden and a garage that if you do want to convert it in the future, you've got windows now. So you're very welcome. Turn in renovation. Oh, she wants a promotion. Yeah. <laughs> we deserve it. Great to hear it's finished. I'll come over to see as soon as I can. Please work for me there. Is Constance just finishing a full fucking day of work? Because <laughs> where are you? I've been here for hours. I've had some time to think while I've been stood here doing nothing and I could have just repainted this entire place and I think that would have counted, but <laughs> it's fine. Where? Is she? I've been here all day. <laughs> I'm sweating profusely. I've been out here for so long. I've given up. I'm going to hair. <laughs> I'm going to have some serious fucking stern words as well. What? have you been doing all day? Oh, okay. Well, now she's getting in her car. I guess I'll follow you again. Jesus Christ, that car's fast. Hold on. That was hard. She was very fast. What do you have to say about it, Constance? Overall, I think you did a good job. I love all the special decorative objects you used. Debian 225 simoleons, including a 100 simoleon bonus. Okay, it says before I leave the house, I should use my cell phone to take a photo. Let me go here. I haven't chosen the best place to take this picture. You can't see much. I'll just take a picture of the tree. I don't think there's going to be another job since Constance spent her entire day at work. But back to the design room. We'll check back in tomorrow. Hope they can do two jobs in one day because the client won't piss me about all day. So there's three jobs I can do today. I could go next door, but I feel like I've not really left this neighborhood. I can do a study, a book nook, or a gym addiction. I want to give you a gym. I've been concerned about my health ever since my latest doctor's visit. To keep healthy, she recommended exercising for 30 minutes a day. The problem is I don't have a gym. That's where you come in. So the gym needs a stereo baseball, a treadmill, a TV and a rug, and it has a budget of 4,800 simoleons. All right, on the way. Your house is tiny. <laughs> 
<laughs> How do you want me to stick a gym in here? You don't even have the bare necessities. Not to steal from Jungle Book there. Oh, I really do not have space to work with here. How is this guy living like this? This is tough. <laughs> There's no space at all. Actually, I can give you a garage from this drive and make it like a converted garage that is actually a gym. Hmm, maybe not. The garage is bigger than his house. Is it weird if it's only this wide? I mean, no, that's probably more realistic, isn't it? So let's go with that. I'll steal the same design as your house. Does it really have to make a sound every time I move it one square? Since the interior of your house depresses me so much, I'm going to make this quite a nice bright space for you. This might be too bright, but it looks clean, so <laughs> I'm sticking with it. The outside will be painted the same though, which doesn't look as good, but it's fine. So I've got just over three grand for a treadmill, a TV, a rug, a baseball, and a stereo. So there's your baseball. I'll just throw that in the corner, make things easy for myself. What's the cheapest treadmill? 540, that's not bad actually. Is there a cheap TV I can get on the wall? Cheapest one is awful and very expensive. Have this. Treadmill can go in front of it so you can see, but you're going to have to look right over the controls there, pal, because you're not going to be able to see it much otherwise. I've got your stereo right here. Steal this wood panelling so that the stereo matches it. And then all you need is a rug. Oh, I did forget that all the rugs are quite ugly. Here, you can just have this rug to wipe your feet on as you come in. Then I can spend the rest of the money on making this place a little more like a man cave. So you can still see the TV from that angle. But I can throw in this little chair here. Got a cheap table in the middle for you. Everything is going to be quite cheap. I want this guy to realise that he can't give me this budget and expect me to build an entire room. Although I've done quite well considering I've still got over a grand and a half left. I'll do the rest of this off camera and I'll show you when it's done. But don't expect a lot. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not a builder. Okay, so we've got a little man cave slash gym. I've just thrown in as much sporty stuff as I can just to try and make it look a bit more like he comes in here to watch sports when he's not on his treadmill, which he'll probably never use if he's anything like us. When I say us, sorry, I meant me. I do not presume to know whether you exercise or not. I just know that I am not exercising enough. I'll just do a little path down the side here to the door and then I think we're good to go. Cool, let's turn that in. There is no way he can kick off at me for this. This house is practically doubled in size just because I've made one little gym for him. And look how depressing and dark it is in there. And he spent all of his money on this. Why didn't you get me to fix up the rest of your fucking house, pal? It's awful. So he's on the way now. I hope he's on the way now. He better not be going to work and staying at work. But let's wait here and see. Ah, thank you for not wasting my time. He is here. I think he can see you. You don't need to call him over. Here we go. You better love it. I've put a lot of effort into it, kind of. I do hate the colour of the wood in there now, but I, it was too late for me to turn back and do something else. Overall, I think you did a good job. Heather really likes the outdoors. Thanks for all the windows. Also, I love all the special decorative objects you used. I wouldn't mind working with you in the future. I'll take that. I mean, you could have given me a bonus. Oh, it's kicking me out. Don't kick me out. I need to take a picture. Oh, again, I can never get a good angle for this. I mean, it really doesn't matter, does it? I'll just take a picture of that. That's good enough for me. And his house is still not good. <laughs> Do not get me wrong, but it's looking better than it did before, I guess. Oh, this is a big house. What's this one? Book Nook. Yeah, let's do that one. It's very hard finding a quiet place to sit and read. Between the TV, computer and stereo, I feel inundated with distractions. I'll need your help with creating a peaceful little book nook. And look at the size of your house. I mean, yeah, granted, it's not rendered in yet, but... Oh, the colour is awful. Maybe I'll change your exterior. Okay, begin renovation. Debbie learned that Agent is rich. I think you could have worked that out from the outside, if I'm going to be honest with you, Debs. He's frugal. Now, I did read about this one, and I do remember this one. It means that he likes me to come under budget, so about 20% under budget. Begin renovation. I'm waiting for clients to get out of the way so I can start working. I've got 11 sim minutes left for my work days over. Now, where do you want this book nook? Because this house is Fucking huge. I <laughs> don't even know where to start. Ooh, this could work. This area here is really empty and it could be a bit cosy because it's not as big as the other one. I do like the light in there. The only bedroom in the actual house. Oh, wait, no. Hang on. There's a kid's bedroom here. I'm assuming it's kid's bedroom. And then this bedroom here. But they have a third bedroom in this little tower thing and I want to do it in here. I think this is miles better. So I'm sorry if this is your bedroom, but I'm taking it. <laughs> it's your library now. This means the budget is going to be way higher too. Oh, there's an urn that I can't move. I want like old fashioned regal wallpaper. Like this is painful on the eyes, but something like that, but less hideous. Actually, I'm trying all this. I think I can do like an old dark wood panelling. Yeah, this is the sort of thing I'm thinking. I want some bright parquet flooring or something like that. Can I smash this urn? No. Can I move objects out of the way? 
I can just delete it. Yeah, I'm deleting it. Look, you're going to have a wonderful library, but I threw out your dad's ashes, so I hope it's worth it. I mean, the bookcases match the wall, which looks really dark, so maybe I'll have to change that. But for the time being, we'll see what it looks like with lights. We're going to have one on each side like this. I was hoping there was like a huge chandelier I could put in the middle, but I don't think there is. They're all too modern for what I'm going for. It looks old like the rest of the room, so I'm just going to throw this in here and I'll put floor lights in. <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to get around this, I think. Oh, I've barely got any budget remaining. Damn it, I've not done this right. To be fair, I could sell other stuff in the house. <laughs> they don't need all this. I'm not going to worry about how much I spend. I'll just sell stuff they already earn if I go over budget. Now, let's do the living chairs because I need two of those. Yeah, this is the sort of chair I'm thinking. Make it a darker red. I don't want them placed perfectly, so I'll just move it around a little bit. Just like that. I want like an old timey stereo in here too. Stick that against the wall. There's your coffee table. That needs to be darker wood too. It's not what they've asked for, but I do want a surfer in there too. This is becoming very Tory, but <laughs> I do quite quite like it to be fair. I don't want it to look exactly the same as the other chairs though so let me change it a little bit. Then we need end tables. So there's that one. I guess I'll put another one next to this sofa. I'm going to move this up a bit because I have placed that on the grid and I want it to be a little bit off-centred. Well, a little bit, I said. Fuck it out. <laughs> Actually, the end table can go here because I don't know where else to put one. Oh, if that was smaller. Actually, can I put it in this corner here. I might get rid of this end table altogether and then I can add another one on this side. This is costing me my own money now so let me sell. You don't use a microwave in a fancy place, you use your oven. Now let's see if the lights make the bookcases look a bit more visible. If not, I'll make the bookcases brighter. It didn't. I'll make the bookcases a bit better. Okay, there we go. I don't think that's too bad and I've come in 500 simoleons under budget, which is good because they're frugal. I have deleted a fair few things in the house. And nothing important, so it's fine. But <laughs> yeah, I've got rid of a bit. And I deleted an urn. I forgot about that too. But what do you think? Um, I think maybe because I've missed six o'clock, I can't do anything about this. So I'm going to turn in the job that we've got tomorrow morning. And then I'm going to do a job badly on purpose. Because I want to see what people say when I really fuck up. I'm going to keep painting this, even though work's actually started. I'm going to stick this in their house too. See what they think. Kind of matches the vibes. Great. Take that painting. Pop it in your pocket. And let's go turn in that job. Oh, can I actually not turn it in? For fuck's sake. That was so much time wasted. <laughs> oh, whatever. Who wants a bad job doing? Let's give you a new bedroom. The layout of this bedroom has always given me bad vibe. Just one bad vibe. In fact, I'm really not a fan of the furniture either. Get me some new items and don't clutter it. Thanks. Being a bit rude, actually. Because you were so rude to me, this is going to be shite. So I'm not even going to introduce myself to the client. I'm just going to go in and ruin it. This is all your houses. You've got two car spaces down here. One that's not even in line with the drive. So I'll fix that for you first, you idiot. But that could easily be an entire portion of the house. And you know what? I would do it. I would do that for you. But you were rude. <laughs> so I'm getting rid of your entire bedroom and I'm making it awful. First things first though, I do want to be able to see. You want windows? You've got windows, pal. Not even facing the same way each time. Here's your double bed. It faces backwards and only one person can get in at a time. Oh, they do want paintings. Oh wait, now I can put them on this wall. I was going to say I've over windowed it. Your favourite football poster. A little emergency exit sign in case there's a fire. I don't like you, but I don't want you to die in a fire. That's horrible. As for your dresser, you can have a little gym dresser. And there's your rug. Actually, you know what? I don't even want you to be able to get into the bed. So I'll just stick the dresser the wrong way right next to it. Just to be doubly sure. I'll stick another one there. And the budget was 7,000 simoleons, but we've ended up with a budget over that. We've got them a saving. We've done them a favour there. Turn it in. Great to hear it's finished. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're going to be so disappointed when you get here. To be fair, there wasn't much saving this house. It is really bad. <laughs> Didn't even look at the rest of it in the light. Oh, he likes the window. There's a lot of them, so he might end up liking this quite a lot. No, <laughs> it's terrible. You can't say you like this. He even likes the crappy little picture I put on the wall. Oh, for God's sake. Overall, I think you did a good job. It's not amazing, but I can't complain too much. You should. I'm sorry. Anyway, let me take a picture for my portfolio. I shouldn't, but let me. Beautiful. Let's try another job. Living room redesign. Let's do this. Growing up, my grandmother had a stuffy, formal living room. It smelled of mothballs, much like my grandma. I have many fond memories of my grandmother in that room, and I'm hoping you will redesign my living room to make for new memories. All of the houses in this town are so thin. I don't actually remember which town I'm in. <laughs> um, but this is the living room. It's pretty small. I'm going to completely start again with this. You can keep your fireplace because that's unrealistic. I'm not dragging that out for you. I want to move the front door, but that'll kind of ruin what's going on outside. I'll just move these stairs up. 
Get rid of the rails and I'll change that path so it goes here. There we go. That was a lot of effort just to move up a door one space, but at least now I've got a bit more space for the living room. Start off, I'll give you some more natural light in here because this place is so depressing. Let's get some lights in here so I can actually see what I'm doing too. Whether I keep these lights or not is undecided, but we'll just stick them around for now. So they want two sofas, so I can start with those. I don't want them to be too similar, but I do need them to be quite expensive, I think, just so I can plow through that budget for them. I'm going to keep the curtains and I'm just going to make all the furniture in the house match that instead of me having to put too much effort in. Why does this sofa change colours completely if I push it backwards? <laughs> it's so dark in this game. I can't think what to do. I don't like the green either. Let's we'll go with basic, cosy living room and everyone's going to have to deal with it. And it's not because I'm lazy, it's because... It's because, all right, <laughs> there's no reason for it. I just don't want to do it. Now, let's see if I can get you a green rug in there. I think one of the things that's stressing me out the most about The Sims 3 is creator style. And I don't know if that's controversial because I know people love creator style. It gives me too much option and I'm not that good a builder. Uh, well, I'm not a good builder, actually, let's just be honest. And that amount of creativity is just too much for me. It overwhelms me completely. <laughs> I'm not keeping this rug like that, but obviously it's off centered to the fireplace. I mean, can I move that up one? Problem solved. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to move it. I lied. I've moved it. I'm bored of this house. <laughs> I know I've just started, but I'm just making everything this horrible green colour because I'm fairly sure that the client's still going to be like, oh, wow, yeah, you've done a really good job. So why put the effort in? You know, why stress myself out? Let's give them some horrible thing to look at and wait for them to tell me how good a job I've done. They want four living chairs. How big do you think your fucking living room is? You, know you can have your TV because that's easy enough for me to deal with. Let's make it pricey because the rest of the house is disappointing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me put the coffee table down. Can I not put it on a rug? I'll just cheat it on there. If you're going to be stupid, I'll be stupid back. Press candles in there because this room is still so dark for no reason. I love that it won't go in the center of the table. <laughs> I really, really like that. That's good. That's just going to have to do. Okay, you want a stereo? That can go over here. Right there in the dark, apparently. Have a sconce light. It doesn't do much but it's something. And four living chairs. I, I just, I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. What do you want from me? I mean, they've quite clearly outlined what they want from me. It's four living chairs, but it's too much. The irony of this chair being called the lazy lounger when I'm about to use it four times because I'm too lazy to individually choose chairs that match. So I'll stick one there. Does anybody want a chair in the bedroom? Whether you want one or not, you're getting it and I'm putting it in the dark. I guess I could just stick another one there. It's just a weird thing to walk into. You're going to bash your shin the minute you step into your house? No, I don't like that. Here. You can store them in your barn. I've ruined what was once a kind of nice living room. Although to be fair, I actually don't think it's the worst living room ever. It's just the fact that it's got that horrible green. So uh, do you know what? I'll change it. I'll make it a bit nicer. But I will put whatever I put on this rug on the lamps and the curtains because I can't be bothered. I do have fun building. I'm losing interest in being told what to build. Ah, uh, that blue could be quite nice. Let's just go with that. It's not the best, but it's better than what we've got. Ooh, I do this thing where when I'm concentrating and I don't know why I'm concentrating so hard on this, but I was but I just stop breathing. And I don't know if that's normal, but I, I don't realise until I'm fully out of breath. So please tell me if you do that too, because I don't want to feel weird, but <laughs> I've always done it. Okay, it's not awful. The blue has helped quite a lot, I think. It's not what I'd do if I was actually going to play in this house, but I'm never going to see it again. So I'll leave them to it. Have I just gone in and watched their TV? I am one cheeky little prick, aren't I? But what I did want to do was add my painting on the wall. Not like that. <laughs> Where will it fit? Hello, dog. Oh, are you watching TV with me? I'll talk to you. Where will this picture go? Hold on. I want to move this picture here. I'll just stick it in the kitchen. Fuck it. Ah, my family inventory. There we go. Done. Tell client renovation is complete. I mean, her husband's stood right next to me. Can I not just tell him? There she is. Oh, she's already crying before she's even seen it. Ironic that her last name's Joy, but okay. What do you think, Elaine? I put in about two minutes of hard work into this. Oh, she did. Did I just get a promotion? She likes the painting that I've done, which is, that makes me feel good. I didn't frame it. That's the issue. Where are you going? Oh, for fuck's sake. She's, <laughs> she's going to see that I've hidden these two chairs away. Sorry, Elaine. I really did think I was going to get away with this one. Overall, I think you did a good job. I love all those handcrafted objects you used. It was one picture, but she did give me a bonus for it. So I'm going to take that. Thank you. So I'm not going to lie. I do have a bit of building fatigue right now, and I didn't really build. I kind of just used buy mode. What's that? <laughs> Anyway, I am going to end it there. That was fun, but I do think I'm done with building for just a little while at the very least. I have no idea how long this video is going to be because when I start concentrating, I do just stop talking. So if it was short, I'm sorry. If it was long, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it if it was short as well, actually. But yeah, thanks for joining me for another one. There's plenty more gameplays 
typically not building videos for you to watch on the channel if you haven't watched them already. And if you don't subscribe already, please do it. It really helps the channel. But I'll catch you in the next one. So I'll see you then.